Uh, what we're trying to get all of our Surrey residents to do is to join a new wildlife movement. Uh, we've launched the Surrey Wildlife Garden Award this year. Uh, we're trying to encourage all our gardeners to uh, think a little bit more about their garden and what they can do for the environment. You can try to leave little areas to grow a little bit more wild. A lot of our gardeners are very keen on trimming and mowing and tidying away and it's really nice to leave uh, um, an area. If you're going to blow all your leaves you could just leave them in a little pile in the corner. Uh, you can leave uh, piles of logs for all the mini beasts. Uh, you can put up little insect hotels, bug hotels. Uh, you can introduce a wildlife pond, a bird bath, which could just be a little plastic container. Uh, we like to introduce bucket ponds into gardens. Uh, I myself have uh, put a butler sink into my garden and you put some rocks in it so that the insects uh, and the wildlife can get in and out. And at the moment I'm enjoying all the squirrels and the birds feeding, uh, watering themselves, bathing in the pond. The hedgehog uh, is one of the UK mam mammals which is in severe decline at the moment. Uh, it's in decline by about 90%. Uh, there's a lot we can do. We can open up uh, corridors for our hedgehogs. Uh, a lot of people have got fenced-in gardens and uh, they can open up a, a corridor, a wildlife corridor, um, because hedgehogs can travel up to three miles uh, in an evening on their search for food and all you have to do is uh, drill a small hole in your fence uh, about 13 centimetres uh, which is big enough for a hedgehog to crawl through and it can get through to uh, your garden, to your next door neighbour's garden and on. Our wildlife gardening competition is open to all, it's absolutely free to enter. Uh, it's open to anyone who's got a, a small, medium or large garden, even a balcony or small space. It's also open to every school, uh, community gardens, businesses and this year we've also um, announced that we're going to open it to people with allotments as well. Uh, anyone who enters will receive a certificate um, and they can either achieve bronze, silver or gold and for our top gardens there's a chance to win £50 worth of Squires vouchers.